So we're well beyond the stage of determining whether Colorado made the right decision. Colorado model is working, more popular among our voters in Colorado than ever before, and voters in other states have been emboldened to follow suit in different forms with regard to allowing the regulated sale, sale of marijuana. Our next challenge is to take the model established in Colorado and Oregon and Washington uh, and Alaska and enable all states to follow it, free from federal bullying and federal interference. Uh, education that this caucus will undertake will make sure that uh, members of the Congress are aware of the issues surrounding uh, the discrepancy in laws between the federal government and state governments, making sure that marijuana businesses get the same tax treatment, uh, as Mr. Blumenhauer mentioned, making sure that states' uh, rights on drug policy take precedent over federal, federal policy, as Mr. Rohrbacher mentioned, making sure that having bought marijuana will not take a, away your right to own a firearm, as Don Young uh, is working on, and as a bipartisan bill I've introduced with Duncan Hunter in prior sessions. Um, it means that ending the federal uh, prohibition on marijuana, getting rid of the antiquated provisions that equate it with drugs like heroin, uh, and acting in a regulatory structure that we all know can work and save lives, boost the economy, and respect states' rights. I'm proud to say the majority of the House of Representatives agrees with us. They've supported and passed several amendments and appropriation bills uh, consistent with the goals of this caucus. We've introduced a flood of bipartisan bicameral legislation to address the issues amount around marijuana. Uh, we hope to be able to see some of those uh, as appropriate through all the way into law this session. And I'm confident through the hard work of this caucus, we'll soon see common sense approaches to federal marijuana law pass into law 